Hello, and in this video we'll be working on creating the clip piece that goes in the clip top of our subtle carabiner pin. Uh, we'll start by making the pin that goes in the hole, and then we'll add in the clip portion as well. Uh, so I'm going to just start by doing a sketch uh, right on the surface where that hole is, and I'll turn to a top view so we can look directly on that hole. Uh, we took that piece out and we measured it, so I'm just going to make sure I get right in the center of that hole, get that uh, box cells so in the center. And our dial caliber told us it was 0.58 inches, or 0 0.058 I should say. Uh, so I'm going to undo that and uh, redimension it as 0 0.058. 0 0.058. And that gives us the size for our clip. I'm going to hit the green check to accept. And then extrude, I'm going to click inside the circle, I'm going to turn my view so I can see, and in this case it's going the wrong direction, so we just have to click opposite direction, and we measure the distance or the length of this pin to be 0.26 inches. Uh, hit our green check to accept, and that gives us that pin. I'm going to go down here where it says part 2 and rename it to pin, and if you want to change the appearance or the material, you can do that as well. So edit appearance, it's a metal piece, and I'll just change it to a slightly different gray color. Uh, so that gives us our pen. Uh, next part's a little more complicated in dealing with that clip uh, because it's got a lot of uh, detailed features to it. Uh, so first I'm going to go to the bottom, uh, ISO, so I can click on this bottom for my sketch. So I'm going to sketch, I'm going to click on that bottom surface, and then I'm actually going to look at it from the top view. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you're looking at it when you create your sketch as long as you click the correct surface. Uh, then next I'm going to project some of these features I already have to use in my sketch. So I'm going to use this Use Project button. I'm going to get the inside arc of my ellipse. I'm going to get the outside on the part nearest the clip as well. And then I'm going to get these points where it ends at over here. So I'm going to get this point up here and the point on the outside as well. So that gives me some of those reference marks uh, to use. Next, we're going to create a line that goes uh, from the inner to the outer, uh, the cell where the clip portion actually begins. I'm just going to take and do an arc. Uh, we're going to go from the inner, about where it ends on the inner, to about where it ends on the outer. Uh, again, I'm just estimating these values. If you wanted to, you can measure and get the exact value. Uh, and then we have, it's got a slight curvature to it as well. So I'm just trying to match up to what that item looks like. I don't have those exact measurements at this time. Uh, so that gives us that portion or that end of my clip. And then we need to extend. So I'm going to finish off my arcs up here. Go from one end to the, one point to the other that I projected. And it's got a radius of about 0.85. And we'll do the same thing on the inside. From the one point to the other point and radius... Once I click, about 0.85 on that radius. Uh, once we have this outline of our shape, I'm going to trim some of the extra. I don't need this extra portion here. I don't need this extra portion here. And that should give us a closed off shape that we can work with now. So I don't have any extra portions to deal with. Uh, once I do that, I hit my green check to accept. And I'm going to change to an ISO so we can kind of see what we're working with. And extrude. I'm going to click on sketch 10. And we want this to be a new material, so we want new material to go down. So I click inside my shape. Oh, we forgot one line, so I got to go back to my uh, sketch, sketch 10, uh, turn to my front, and we didn't project this line that goes over. I'm just going to add in the line that's probably going to be a little quicker than projecting, and I close off my shape. Hit a green check to accept, and now I'm going to change to an ISO, and again extrude. I want to extrude sketch 10. I want it to be new. And this extrusion is just going to be a small distance, 0 0.025. Uh, there's a little lip edge inside, so we're just going down 0.025 to give that filler portion. Uh, hit our green check to accept, and that gives us the beginning of our clip piece. Next, we're going to do another sketch. I'm going to go on this top surface I just created, and again, I'm going to go to my top view. This time, I just want to fill in this gap here where it's going to close off my clip at. So to do that, uh, we can project the lines we already have, or we can uh, trace them pretty easily as well. So I'm just going to go from one edge to the other. I hit escape, do the same thing on the opposite end, from one edge to the other. And again, I can project or recreate the arcs. I'm just going to project them. 
and that gives me my aux, closes off my object. Hit a green check, and then again, I'm going to extrude. I uh, click inside my shape. I'm going to turn my view, and instead of a new, we want to add to our clip. We already have that clip. We got to tell it what to merge with. So I hit merge go, and I click that blue object I already have. Uh, this time, our distance is going to be just point one. And you can see it extends up, and it's not rounded. We'll do that rounding off that fillet at the end, uh, but it gives us that portion of our clip. Uh, next, there's this little triangular piece of our clip that goes in right in the, this hole kind of here. Uh, so again, I'm going to sketch. I'm going to click the outside of my object, and I'm going to use the line tool to make that triangle. Uh, so I'm going to start at the corner. Uh, so we get that corner, we come in and up. It comes in up to somewhere in this portion. I don't, again, I don't have those exact measurements. Uh, then it comes down back into my clip. And then we close off our triangle shape. Uh, once we have that triangle closed off, I can hit my green check. And we're going to extrude. I'm going to click on sketch 12. Make sure I get the right thing. I'm going to turn my view so I make sure I'm going the correct way. Right now it's going the incorrect direction. Right, incorrect direction. So I want it going in. I want to add. I can tell it what to add to, which is the blue. And this time it's going to be a depth of, it looks like, about 0.04. So not very deep. Uh, if we turn our view, you can see it's there and it's not overlapping. So that gives us what we want there. Uh, you may have to mess around, make sure your triangle fits so it doesn't overlap and cut into the object. That was kind of my goal. I don't have those exact measurements at this point. Uh, so that gives us that outer portion of our clip. Uh, next, we want it to go to the mid plane. So right now, if we look at it from the back view, I'm going to turn to the back view. It doesn't extend all the way down to the mid plane. I want it to extend to the mid plane. Uh, that way we can uh, extrude it all the way through. Uh, or we can mirror, I should say. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to turn to my view. I'm going to hit sketch. I'm going to click on this back portion. And I'm going to look at it this time from the, uh, I'll go from the bottom view this time. Uh, it's going to look kind of like a pan handle shape. I'm actually going to turn my pen top off because right now the shapes are going to be inclusive uh, within my object I have. Uh, so when I do this, uh, first, if we look at it on the outer portion, it's got a little thin portion that still exists. Uh, so that thin, very thin piece we need, I'm going to create by doing it an offset. Uh, so first I'm going to project my outer portion, this outer piece, I want that whole outer piece without getting the whole object. So I want that outer portion to ext extend out and I'm going to have it go all the way out. So I'm going to get both of those portions and then I want to do an offset from that. So I'm going to click on that portion. Right now it wants to offset outside the object. I want it going inside and we measured it to be about 0.08. So it's a very small offset. So 0.08. Or 0 0.008, I should say. Uh, so we click on, I'm going to hit escape, and we click on it again, 0 0.008. That gives us that small little offset. You can see it's not touching this outer edge yet, uh, so we want to extend it. I'm just going to use a line. You could use an arc and match your radius, uh, but I'm just going to do a line. And then I'm going to close off that outer edge as well. That way we have a closed off shape there. Uh, next, I'm going to turn my pen top on real quick, and you can see it comes into my object. I want it coming a little bit farther, so I'm going to repeat this offset process on this next portion as well. So I got this portion. I want to offset it. I want to pull it in. I could have done this all at once, uh, but I didn't. 0 .008, and again, we want to make sure it's touching. You can see right now those dots are not touching, so I wanted to go tap one point to the other point. That way I have a closed off shape. I'm not going to use this whole line. I'm not going to use the whole object because it becomes soured about halfway through this object. So I'm going to take a line and cut through halfway through. This is a straight cut through, a straight cut down into the object. So I'm just going to go about the midpoint of that object. Again, I want to be on the outside and I want to extend it to the inside portion. From there, I can just project lines that I already have. I could use the line tool, but I don't have to. So I'm going to project this inside line. I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually copy this make this line because I have to close it off. Make this line that comes down. And then I'm going to close off my shape. I went a little too far on that one, uh, but I can escape and I can drag that up exactly where I need it to be.
So that gives us about that shape. Again, we don't have these exact perfect measurements, so it's okay to be approximate. Again, I'm going to trim my. I'm going to use my trim tool. I got some uh, ex excess portions. Actually, I didn't want to do that line there at the end. So I'm going to uh, actually trim this line I just created. I'm going to do that one. And now I'm going to hit Escape and do a coincident that blue dot all the way. I want it to go all the way to the outside. Uh, so if you're doing it first time, you can just go all the way down, and that closes off your shape. Once we've done that, we should have a closed object, so I'm going to hit my green check. Hopefully, I've got it all cleared up. Uh, we're going to extrude. Uh, I'm going to hit Sketch 13 so it knows what to extrude. Uh, again, we're adding, and we have to tell it what to add to by Merge Scope and clicking on that blue portion. Uh, so when we do that, it adds in, and this time we want it to add in. It's going to be a very small distance again of 0.025. So 0.025. And that gives us that small inner portion that adds in. Uh, it's got that cut in there, so we're trying to include that little cut in for the spring. Hit our green check to accept, and that should take us down to that plane uh, if we get measured it correctly. So I'm going to go to my back view, and you can see it goes right down to that plane. That's going to allow us to mirror this feature across to the opposite side. Uh, so now we're going to use the mirror features by clicking, just clicking mirror. Uh, first, I have to tell it what to mirror, so I'm going to click on that blue port part. We haven't named it yet, part 3. Uh, then I have to tell it the mirror plane, which is the top plane. Uh, and we want to make sure this is an add, so I'm going to have to tell it what to add to by hitting Merge Scope and clicking that blue part as well. Hit our green check, and you can see it extrudes and it creates the second half of that clip. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to rename my part since I just was looking at it. I'm going to rename it my clip. I'm not done with it. We still have to add some holes and round off our edges. Uh, so next I'm going to add in this whole part. So I'm going to do that by sketching on the top and cutting that through. So all I have to do is a circle. You could reuse the sketch you made earlier, uh, but since I've already started it, I'm going to finish this one off. 0.06. And then we all we need to do is finish our sketch, extrude, remove, uh, this time we want to merge it. Uh, we just want to get the clip portion. We don't want the pin to cut through. And we have to tell it what to cut, which is going to be sketch 14. Hit our green check to accept. Uh, you could change the distance if you want. And now if we hide our pin, we can see it right through the object. Uh, next, I'm going to round off my edges. So I'm going to round off these edges uh, by just doing a fillet. So I'm going to select the fillet tool. And I'm going to match off up my fillets from uh, my previous match our previous fillets I'm gonna change my value to 0.03 and then all we have to do is click on these edges so I want the outer edge on the inner side and the outer side and I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom so if I go to the bottom I want the inner and the outer and that's gonna match up my object and give it those rounded edges we're looking for uh, so now we have the clip for the most part. There's one last thing we're going to do. The last thing that is to do is on this top of our clip, there's this little rectangle cut in. Uh, so I'm going to start a sketch on that top surface. Uh, I'm going to make my pen top disappear for a moment so we can see what we're doing. And I'm just going to sketch a rectangle. So I'm going to start on the top, go down to the bottom. Uh, the length across is going to be about 0.13. So I'm going to make that value about 0.13. Hit enter, and then I want to dimension from the side, so from the my object to the outer line. Uh, I want to make sure I get the line. I'm not sure if I got one there, so I want to make sure I got it. And that's going to be a distance of 0 0.085, it appears. So that creates that rectangle. And then finally, we're going to hit extrude. We want to remove. I'm going to click inside my rectangle, and the distance is just going to be 0 0.03. It's a very small cut in there. Uh, so that gives us that cut in where the clip goes. Uh, that finishes off our clip. I can turn my pen top back on, and you can see that clip fits in. So we did make some estimates on a couple of the portions, but overall that pen clip should fit in pretty well. Uh, thank you, and hopefully this helps you to create the pin and the clip for your pen top. Uh, thank you, and good luck.